One South Florida city, some feathered friends have run afoul. Well, these feral chickens are reproducing at a rapid rate and becoming a major nuisance. They're waking up people in the neighborhood in the morning, ripping up lawns and even causing health concerns. As Bob Norman reports, the city's been trying to solve the problem, but so far it has nothing to crow about. Here's Bob. They can be found on streets, at businesses, and neighborhoods. And residents say they're totally clucking up Pompano Beach. The chickens are a big complaint in this community. We learned of the problem from City Commissioner Beverly Perkins. This is the entrance. Who took us for a tour of the northwest section of town where the chickens have come home to roost. We're not sure where they're coming from, uh, but they're multiplying. You're showing units and you have your chickens walking around you. Apartment manager Christina Costa said the feral fowl are such a nuisance that she put a bounty on them. <laughs> offering tenants discounts on their rent if they could make the chickens, quote, disappear. They tried and they couldn't catch the chickens. She also called the city, which actually sent out trappers. And they couldn't catch one chicken. So let's talk about these chickens. Yes. Pompano Mayor Lamar Fisher said the city's been aware of the problem for at least two years and it just gets worse. It has been a, a concern, so obviously we're trying our best to address it. Code Enforcement Chief Mario Sadalongo says the city's found no feasible way of curtailing the lounging leghorns, which are already outlawed as pets. He said the city first tried to cite chicken owners. It's very difficult to uh, have someone uh, really admit, yes, this is my, this is my property. Uh -huh. Here were some pro-chicken residents. Are these chickens your all's chickens? Yeah. They say the eggs are good and the so chickens take care of bugs. Chicken. Are you aware that it's illegal to have chickens? I ain't got them. You ain't got them. You said they were your chickens, now you're saying they're not your chickens. Know why I said that? They're neighborhood chickens. Since going after humans didn't work, the city tried another tack. Yeah. Public Works Director Rob McCann. The chicken itself is uh, very difficult to catch. They're very theory of people. We thought, well, okay, maybe we just don't, we're not experts. Let's hire the experts. But they were not very successful either. That company, True Tech Wildlife Removal, was contracted at $1,000 a month. And over about a nine month period where we had the contract, I, it was approximately six chickens that we had documentation that they were able to capture. Let's see, $9,000, six chickens. If my math's correct, that means it was $1,500 for chicken. Bad investment. <laughs> I guess the chicken's smarter than them. Resident Joshua Allen said he's just tired of being surrounded by chickens, especially when they're crowing. <laughs> Wakes him up at the crack of dawn. It gets bad sometimes. They should get rid of them. But right now, the city simply has no idea how to do that. We're looking for that answer. <laughs> In Pompano Beach, Bob Norman, Local 10 News. As for those six chickens captured, the city says they were humanely put down by lethal injection. Officials say they do have traps available for residents free of charge, but right now, no residents are taking the city up on that offer.